Long ago, at the edge of the known world, the last Celtic tribes were fighting for survival. The great continent had fallen to the Romans, and this remote and untamed island was the final stronghold of the ancient ways. If the people in the land were to endure, they would have to rise up as one against the invaders. And this they did, with a fury. The king, the queen. Mm. Get back across the river. She belongs to us. Not anymore. And you can die for her. for your brother's wedding. And you're not invited. He cost me a sleigh. I'll cost you more than that if you don't get off our land. This is my fight. But he's clearly at your mercy. Be gone. Blast you, Fergus! Now. Another day, boy. Do you always have to follow me everywhere? Your father said it was you or the sheep. The sheep are already taken. Come on, lad. How did you find me? I smelled your fear. I'm lucky to smell anything at your age. I thought you were out hunting for a wedding present. I was interrupted. Those were guards, man. You shouldn't be messing with them. They're beating on a girl. Looked to me like they were beating on you. I was doing fine. And I certainly don't need an old badger like you to help me. You'll appreciate my company when the Romans come raining down on your head. Romans aren't all that bad. Well, listen to this. They've done some good things. Name one. They make maps. They didn't need a map to find you. You need a map to find the Mediterranean. I'm not going to the Mediterranean. Well, I am. Since when? Since now. You forced me from the nest. I'm going to get me a map and sail to the Mediterranean. Sweet Bridget, you're daft. No, Fergus. I'm in love. Oh. <laughs> Come on, old man. We're late for a wedding. I am the wind that blows across the sea. I am the wave of the deep. I am the roar of the ocean. I am the stag of seven battles. 
on sale show could be on sale ella from this life to the next from this life to the next how come you never married i was stuck with you <laughs> This was given to me by my father on my wedding day, Aidan. With this sword, you honor our past and you carry our future. Thank you, father. He looks like a king. Better him than me. Tonight, two families who have known only bloodshed come together in peace. May we be the first of many. While other tribes continue to war with each other, Rome is gathering at our borders. Without unity, we are lost. This marriage will be celebrated. How did you convince our father we were worthy? I kept you a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Derek's younger son, the one they call Connor. That girl was worth three in trade. Is the problem with the cages or the keeper? We'll find her. You'd better. Otherwise, you'll be replacing her in the pit. Ready the horses. Diana! Hello? Purifying myself. With cow dung? This is Roman soil. I don't understand. That doesn't surprise me. I ask not to be disturbed, Carr. I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye. Fight well. If all goes as planned, your cousin's delegation will see no trouble in their arrival from Rome. Fine. Uh, kiss for luck, then. father must be blind. Only because he chooses to be. He doesn't love her. He hasn't loved anything since my mother died. He should put her back on the boat. <sighs> what do you think? Mm, more elderberry. Cheeks? Lips. I don't want him to think I'm vain. Believe me, his mind will be on other things. He's different. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need some more ale in here, eh? Did you ever think you'd see this day? Never. The poets are right, Connor. Love can move mountains. Well, if that's the case... Do you ever think Gar could be part of our family? The Romans own him. I know. He's a butcher. I know. 
But his daughter... ...is beautiful beyond words. What do I do? Be careful. I was afraid I was too late. I would have waited. <laughs> was the ceremony beautiful? Oh, I was scratching at the walls. Too many kings in one room. Oh, I wish we could just stay here forever. Well, not here. Across the sea. I'll build us a fort. <laughs> a fort? Yeah, just for you and I. <laughs> we'll have a beautiful garden. Mm. And we'll have cattle and horses. And hundreds of little children running around. Hundreds? No, you don't think you're going to be my only wife, do you? Maybe I'll build my own fort and have hundreds of husbands. Oh, more for your father to hate. He doesn't hate you. Yeah, he just hates my family. Clary's not going to change. If I could just talk... No. You mustn't ever tell him about us. Promise me. Maybe one day. Hansel Sha. Giddy Hansel Ella. From this life to the next. Would you thrill you come this way? And the sun will shine her day. Now hold you close, the old old tree. And I'll kiss you, and you kiss me. What? I don't want to forget what you look like. I'll be here tomorrow. Mm, tomorrow's too far away. What is that?
progress. You were drunk. Bastard, you were drunk! You were their champion! You were supposed to protect them! Where were you? Get away from me. They were my family, too. Go! They were my family, too! Julian says we can expect two ships and a hundred Roman soldiers. What have you done? Was it their land? Their gold? Your people are out there celebrating. They're happy. They feel secure here. You made them do this, didn't you? You and that Roman freak. Derek was an obstacle to our future. Your future. How many others are dead? All of them, <gasps> said the freak. All, except one. Before you die, you should know why you lived. We thought you were dead, Galen. And I thought I'd live forever. Is this where you've been hiding all these years? In the forest? I don't hide, boy. I watch and I wait and then I make a choice. Lately, I've been watching you. I can't say it's been pretty. Why did they have to die, Galen? Why did Gar kill my family? Your father was a threat to him. He believed in the sacredness of the land. He, he would never have given way to Rome. I have to do something. Yes, you do. Where are you taking me? Home. Do you have weapons in this place? To attack Gar alone would be suicide, Connor. That's no way to honor your family. There are so many others to think of now. What others? All of these people have lost their homes and families to the wars, from kings to slaves. You've met Catelyn, the slave girl. You saved her life. She hasn't accepted her freedom yet, but she will, with your help. Mine? 
You're Derek's son. There must be a leader in you somewhere. Come on. This him? He doesn't look like much. <laughs> Meet Tully. I pulled him from a trade ship when he was four years old. Ever ride a bull off the cliffs of Monin? No. I wouldn't trust him. Why did you bring me here? These people have all suffered at Gar's hands. They want justice as much as you. But they can't fight him without a leader. And you can't fight him alone. I'm not leading anyone. I'm going to kill God and get off this island. If these people want to fight, you lead them. You're the magician. This isn't about magic, boy. It's about unity. Your father had the vision. He knew all without purpose is madness. I am not my father. No, but you can be. You're crazy. You can't run from it, Connor. It's in you. You're mad. It's who you are. I am not my father! I wasn't sure you'd come. I wasn't sure you'd want me. I'm so sorry. Claire, it wasn't your fault. I didn't know, I swear I didn't know. You can't ever go back there. I don't want to, I want to be with you. I know a place will be safe for the night. Tomorrow we'll find a boat. I love you. I love you, Claire. No. Stand aside, girl. Run. No. Move, daughter. I won't let you do this. No. No. You bastard! Leave him alone! You have poisoned my house. Father, please! Now you can rot in my courtyard. Sorry, lad. I'm 
sorry. I won't leave you again. Built us a fort. We'll have horses and cattle. I will never love another as I have loved you. It's a tragedy, but her loyalty was with that boy. I have to find him. Your people will find him. That's what they're here for. Now, act like a king. You watch yourself. Julian. Welcome. What do you hear? I'm talking to you, boy. The ocean. And what else? Wind. Birds. Nothing more? You want to jump? It's time to forget your own selfish need for revenge. You were born to a greater purpose. Listen. Listen with your heart. Remember all we are and all that's come before. And hear the roar. The what? Listen. that echoes in every living thing. The power that binds us together. It can give you a strength and clarity like you've never known. How come I've never heard this before? You haven't been listening. Your father heard it. It was his dream to unite our people. But it wasn't his destiny. Too many tribes for one man to accomplish that. You won't be one man.
Your husband doesn't realize what he's unleashed. Well, he's never been the sharpest arrow in the quiver. He will be our undoing. How? If Gar is allowed to remain in power, even as a puppet, the opposition will be monumental. And we will never find what we came here for. Launch us. You know where my heart is. Where it's always been. You come for me. This sword, you honor our past and you carry our future. I'm not a king, and I don't want to be. My training in combat is limited, and I don't pretend to be a tactician. But if our fight is for this land, then I have the will. And I would be honored to lead you into battle. We're gonna scorch their asses! Yeah. Tully, yeah. our goal is unity, not revenge. Many of Gar's followers may join us if we give them the chance. His guards have taken a blood oath. You won't be getting any unity from them. They use their slaves as human shields. I've seen it. You can't launch an assault without some kind of plan. Fergus, you serve my father without question. Aye, but... Who do you serve now?
his son. I have every intention of drawing a plan after conferring with the best military advisor on this island. Who might that be? You? We're gonna scorch their asses. We're gonna scorch their asses! <laughs> Expected, lovely lady. I hope not. You know, I can do that from either side. Sure, you can handle this. <sighs> I'm very impressed, Diana. I expected to be eating off the floor. <laughs> now, people here want to better themselves, they just don't know how. Our tribes lack one leader. Now, with Rome's support... What they lack is one god. He's the sorcerer, I presume. Longinus is my friend and counsel. He traveled with me from Rome. I don't suppose you're praying. Do you see the future, sorcerer? Clearly. some lightning. Don't push it, boy. Where's my cattle? Gone. Like your man.
What do you see? Longinus. Death. <sighs> But not for me. Now leave! Why die? Tell me who to fight for! My... my family! The king... keep this will! I'll keep you alive if you fight for me! I know who you are, and I know what you seek. What did you know? What 400 years of shame can do to a man. How one deed has cursed you forever. Gaius Cassius Longinus, the Roman centurion who with one thrust of a spear killed his guard on the cross. You suffer, and you want to die. Yes. Yes. Can you help me? Nothing can help either of us. More. That should be enough. You killed everyone I ever loved. Did it make you feel stronger? Did the blood make you feel stronger? Claire loved you. She loved you. Take your precious gold. 
Die with it. He betrayed us all. This is the first step towards uniting our land. Now when we fight, we fight for each other, for our freedom, our future, and for those that have come before us. This is our home, and we are people that will not be put down, will not be broken, and will never be silenced. Yeah! Diana would soon take power. For the Roman legions were coming, bringing with them new magic and new demons. <laughs> <laughs> 